This is Laura Thomas, author of Polly Wants to Be a Writer, and I'm going to talk to you today briefly about what a short story is and is not. I've had this question a lot lately. Um, I'm going to run you through a quick PowerPoint presentation. I want to start with, though, number one tip I have for you. If you're not familiar with the genre of short stories, go to your local used bookstore and pick up an anthology or collection of short stories. There'll be a lot of famous uh, stories in there by famous writers. Read them, get familiar with the genre, okay? That's the number one thing I can do is add short stories to your reading diet. Uh, what is a short story in a nutshell? It's fiction. It's written in prose, not poetry, which is sentences and paragraphs. Uh, it's usually a narrative, which means it has a beginning, middle, and end. And it's not longer than 25,000 words. If you start getting over that, you're in the novella territory. So let's take a quick look at novels versus short stories. Uh, as you know, in a novel, you can have several plots that play against each other, and you can also have multiple points of view. Very easy to do in a novel. You have lots of space. Short story, however, I really recommend you stick with one point of view and one very clear plot line where you have one antagonist, one protagonist struggling against each other to a climax and some kind of satisfactory ending. If you're a master craftsman, you can probably pull off a lot more than that, but if you're just getting started, keep it simple. One plot, one point of view. Same with settings. Uh, in a novel, you can have multiple settings. We all know this. Short story, you don't have a lot of space and you need depth. You need to go deep into your story. So therefore, if you keep your settings to just one or two, you don't have to spend as much time on description and you can get right into the nuts and bolts in the story. What about uh, main characters? Novels, as you know, can have dozens of main characters. Certainly a big series do, don't they? Um, short story, on the other hand, we keep it simple. One or two main characters. Otherwise, you run out of space and you end up just writing, um, you know, basically a character biography and you don't have a story. And what about that going deeper is in your novel... Characters can have several essential traits or quirks, strengths or weaknesses that play off, that, you know, complicate the plot. In your short story, focus on one or two essential quirks, traits, strengths, weaknesses that your main character has and, and make it one that really works with the plot, creates complications and is part of the whole drive of the story. Okay, keep it simple. Um, short stories in general have what we call a single effect. And think of this, I've got images of the Beatles on the screen because the Beatles were genius at creating a single effect. They dressed the same, had their hair the same, they did a lot that made them feel what we, you know, like they made themselves like a unit. And you want to think of the elements of your short story in the same way. You want your plot, setting, character, point of view, theme, every element of your short story to be focused on the effect you want to create in your reader. When you do that well, you have what we call unity of impression. Every piece of your story relates to the single effect you're trying to create. There's harmony and all parts sing together. So ask yourself, if you're working on a short story and you've got an idea, maybe it's half written, you've written a few paragraphs, ask yourself, how does it measure up to the standard of a short story? Is it too big? If it is, maybe you set that story idea aside and work on it as a novel. Try to find a story that's boiled down, you can go deeply into, um, that will have a great plot with a satisfying ending and will keep things simple, okay? So one, one really one character with one main problem that is either resolved or not during the story. One point of view, one main setting, and a straightforward plot line. So when I think of unity, when especially when I'm reading and judging stories, I think of the Mona Lisa. A painting, a small painting, everything about this painting works together to create an effect. It is unified. Everything from the tone of the colors to the strokes of the brush, the subject matter, every the perspective, all the elements of this painting work together to create this amazing effect. Well, that's what you're going for in a short story. You want all of your elements to be working together harmoniously, like this choir here, dressed the same, singing the song the same way. You know, that's what we're looking for in a short story is unity. And it is a smaller, more complicated art form in a sense than a novel. A novel's big. You can stretch your legs. You have more room to play. But short stories are quite demanding. They ask you to focus, go deep, and create unity, just like you're creating a single painting. Okay, so that's it on short stories. If you're still struggling, like I said, pick up some short stories in an anthology um, at your local used bookstore. And you might want to even think of picking up um, my new workbook on how to write a short story. It's 15 pages. It's an interactive PDF, which you can fill out 
on your computer and print or print and do by pen and paper by on with pen and paper or uh, and it's got worksheets tips exercises and it's just three dollars Canadian it's only available in our LTC store unlike Polly the novel which is work is available pretty much in all for e formats and in most bookstores uh, and paperback. So anyways, that's it, junior authors. Have a great time writing your short stories. If you get stuck, please go to my um, new website. I'm just going to pull it up here. <clears throat> please go to the new website and, uh, you know, ask a question on my Ask Laura page. I'll just, as the site just loads, oh, it loads so much more quickly than my old one. Go to Ask Laura and uh, send me a question, post it, and I'll answer it for you. Um, that's it. You guys have a great time writing, and we'll see you again next time.